post-radio frequency rhizotomy of the genicular nerves of the knee guided by radioscopy and ultrasonography, step-by-step -step technique. The authors has nothing to disclosure. We start the procedure with the patient placed in the supine position, under superficial sedation, responsive to sensitive and motor stimulus. For rhizotomy of the superolateral genicular nerve, the cannula is placed over the skin in line with the lateral cortex, at the transition from the diaphysis to the metaphysis of the distal femur, under fluoroscopic control in anteroposterior view. It is then introduced close to the periosteum, in a posterior direction for 2 to 3 centimeters. The imaging apparatus is then rotated 90 degrees, perpendicular to the long axis of the limb. And this is positioned so that we have an image in absolute lateral view with overlapping of the femoral condyles. We progress with the needle until it reaches the middle posterior third of the diaphysis. At this time, we use ultrasound, USG, positioning control. The transducer index is pointing proximally. On the lateral aspect of the thigh, touching the skin at the point where the needle is positioned. We gently move the transducer until the needle is visualized. We then rotate the transducer 90 degrees so that the index points up and follows the needle in its anteroposterior path. With the Doppler function, we located the superolateral genicular artery and the genicular nerve nearby. Not infrequently we are unable to visualize the nerve and so the fine adjustment of proximity to the nerve is obtained by analyzing the local tissue bioimpedance, which must be between 300 and 600 ohms. We apply a sensitive stimulus at a frequency of 50 Hz and a voltage of up to 0.5 volts and once it is correctly positioned, the patient will report pain consistent with their complaints. Then, we perform a motor stimulus using the parameters 2 Hz and 2 volts, ensuring that the procedure is not reaching any motor branch. Thus, there should be no movement, not even muscle fasciculation. Rhizotomy is then started with pulsed radio frequency with the following parameters. Wavelength of 5 milliseconds, frequency of 2 Hz, and voltage of 45 volts. With a maximum temperature of 42 degrees Celsius for 4 minutes. Then a solution of 1 milliliter of 0,5% bupivacaine plus 1 milliliter of dexamethasone is infiltrated. Rhizotomy of the superomedial genicular nerve follows the same parameters as the lateral, except that now the needle enters close to the periosteum of the medial femoral aspect. To locate the inferomedial genicular nerve, we used the radioscopy apparatus in anteroposterior view to penetrate with the needle at the transition from the diaphysis to the metaphysis of the proximal tibia close to the periosteum. In lateral view, we deepen its entry until reaching the middle posterior third of the tibia. At this moment, we use the USG in the same way as reported about the superior genicular nerves and the control by impedance and sensory motor stimuli. Rhizotomy of this nerve also follows the same recommendations as to the previous ones. If the surgeon has three cannulas, he can position each one of them and perform the neuromodulation of the three genicular branches simultaneously. Thank you.